Hi, I'm Aaron Barnes, and this is The Bigger Picture. It's Black History Month, and if you've been following us, you know we like to take a moment to celebrate black history throughout the year. Every month, we highlight a special black person who has influenced the culture, industry, or society as a whole. And this month is no different, as we're talking about an essential part of our American lives, laundry. Now, Americans probably take for granted the fact that we can wash and dry our clothes from the comforts of our own home, but it hasn't always been that way. As a matter of fact, it changed pretty recently. The first dryer appeared in Europe in the 19th century when some Europeans created an object that essentially allowed clothes to dry over an open fire. Think roasting marshmallows. It wasn't until 1892 when George T. Sampson, a black man, revolutionized the clothes dryer in the Americas. Sampson was born in New York in 1861 to Alexander and Mary Ann Sampson. Before beginning his career as an inventor, he spent several years in the U.S. military. And while he's probably most famous for coming up with the clothes dryer in the Americas, his first patent was actually for something that he called a sled propeller, which was the predecessor to today's snowmobile. After inventing and receiving a patent for the sled propeller, he received the first American patent for a clothes dryer in 1892. And to remember, up until this point, people in Europe were drying their clothes with fire, and people in the Americas were drying their clothes with the wind. Samson's bright idea was to take clothes away from fire and from the outside, and use a safer heat source in order to dry the clothes, that is, the stove. By using this safer heat source, Samson revolutionized residential and commercial drying for years to come. It was Samson's innovation that inspired the designs for dryers that are found in our homes, laundromats, hotels, and the like around the world today. This did not happen quickly, however. It was 23 years after Samson's invention before the electric dryer hit the scene, and it would be another 20 plus years before only 10% of Americans had an electric dryer in their household in 1955. Fast forward to 2017, and the 85% of American homes that have an electric dryer can thank George T. Sampson for inspiring their current design and seeing the bigger picture. Thanks for watching.